So hello, this is Sauber, and this is going to be a video on lineups who have way too many cores. These happen a lot in pubs, they even happen in mine sometimes. Like, I, I had a jungle Medusa in like a 6.5k average game the other day. Like, it happened. Like, I won, but, you know, it happened. Some people just don't like playing sport, or they just feel like messing around, whatever. And this is going to be, like, how to play with them, and how to play against them, and how to abuse it. So, pretty much, the 5 core lineup, like, there's a reason they don't work, and it's just because they take too much farm, right? But above all else, it's, there's not enough farm on the map for them to function properly. It's not really that the heroes can't get farm, it's just that there's not enough. So, for example, like, I mean, even some dual core lineups, there's not enough farm. For example, like, Alec Anti-Mage. There's not enough creeps on the map to support both of those heroes getting sufficiently farmed, so one of them ends up being extremely not useful. It's kind of an extension of this is what happens when you get like four cores or something. Like even if you have a support, the core often just becomes like, even if they get some small amount of farm, it just becomes like they don't get enough to actually be effective and then they end up being just useless. So as far as playing against them goes, you pretty much just want to abuse their lanes and then they, you're pretty much good from there. Um, the thing is, is like carries are usually weak in lane for the most part and having an extra one in addition to the fact that like your heroes aren't already, like the carry is already weak in lane and then also the fact that they don't have anywhere to lane now because there's four of them means you can just kind of like abuse their lanes. So pick strong laners, you can abuse weak lanes. Axe is a good one. Or alternatively, you can just pick like greedy stuff and just outgreed them because like I said, there's not going to be enough farm on the map. So if you just pick something that needs to be pressured, carries often can't do that. So stuff like anti-mage, even if he's against a four core lineup, if he gets farmed quickly, he can just end the game in 20 minutes because he's six slotted. Terror blade, inspector, you can just try to like just outgreed them or you can just pressure their early. Both work, it just depends on what you want to do but like i said strong laner stuff who can abuse the fact that the lanes are very good also other than that it's pretty much just get ahead and just stay ahead it doesn't matter what your goal how you're going to be ending the game whether you're just going to be out late gaming them out greeting them out farming them just by killing them over and over just get ahead in the laning phase and then just stay ahead as far as playing with them if you have a five core lineup like i said i had a jungle medusa that's life sometimes like you just have to just completely pretend they don't exist and just play your own game pick independent heroes pick non-greedy stuff because if you pick a bunch of greedy stuff you're just gonna get pressured into oblivion so pick non super greedy stuff you don't want to just pick afk farmers um who are vulnerable to being pressured you don't really want to pick something like a specter like you're, you're just gonna lose because they're just gonna run at you because they don't have to do anything else and you're gonna lose the game but yeah pretty much just don't pick too much greedy stuff and do your best to just like salvage the early game if you can just not lose in the early game you'll be in a much better place in the mid game than otherwise as far as independent heroes go most of the kind of more independent heroes are a bit greedy but sometimes you can get away with them for example if you see the enemy offlane already you'll be fine but like the hero like i picked i was like i gonna jungle medusa i'm gonna need to do stuff on my own this game i can't really rely on other people so i just picked slark like i knew i was gonna like it, it was an okay game for slark I was against a bat rider he wasn't going to be able to pressure me in lane so basically that just meant that i was going to be able to have an all right lane for example if the enemy team had picked like an axe as their offlaner i wouldn't have picked slark because i would have just gotten like owned because like he runs at me in lane i can't do anything but in this game i knew i was going to be against a bat rider who isn't the best at pressuring a slark in fact slark can pretty much just one v one bat rider uh, and win so i picked slark and then i just ran around killing people and i played my own game and then we won other good independent-ish heroes. You don't have to pick like the hardest carry. Like for example, like if you're just going safe lane, you don't have to pick some super crazy hard carry. Life Stealer is a good one. He's not very greedy. He's hard to pressure in the lane. He doesn't scale amazingly well. He's pretty good though. He's independent. Lone Druid is another good one. But you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to pick stuff that's just pressurable. Ursa is a good one. Razor. Ember Spirit, just these heroes who can do stuff on their own and aren't like super weak to pressure and you'll be pretty good to go. That's in the carry role. As far as supports, you'll usually want to pick a more hard support. You don't really want to pick something greedy. Um, good ones like Glitch is a good one. Shadow Demon, just defensive stuff. You don't really like, if you have a multiple core lineup, like you have four cores or whatever, you don't really want to be the aggressor. You want to just sit back and kind of chill for a bit and then apply aggression later when you get more farm. So you'll want to just pick more defensive supports, Oracle, Dazzle, Witch Doctors, good one yeah just healing supports and defensive stuff offlane pretty much the same offlaner supply there's no there's not a whole lot of change in the offlaner pool for as far as multiple core lineups it's mo mostly just the supports and the carry picks are impacted the most by these that's pretty much for this video if you have any questions comments criticisms read in the comment section below thank you for watching